I'm sorry you had to be here. Jefferson looks so pathetic now. As he should. Dick. Look at this place. Oh, Jefferson. Going ahead. Da, 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 da. I'm glad. I always. I never did. Ba, I never. You shouldn't have. He was a specter teacher. I guess I. Two. Ba, 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 going through. I... Do, 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 Jefferson. Do, do, do. That pervert was. No. We all make. Should learn from you. Maybe. Hope. I think. You both. I'm not. I tried to. Sorry. I'm. S I shouldn't. I'm going. I. Tr Skipping through. And you say. I just want to see. So where is Chloe? Ah, hide the truth. There it is. David, um, well, she was pretty stressed out, so, um, she went to go, um, medicate before I ended up in here. So, she's okay. Oh, thank God. For once, I'm happy Chloe's a stoner. <laughs> David, I, I have to go outside and get some real air and use my phone. Of course. Go on, Max. You're a brave soldier. I'm glad Chloe has a best friend like you. Go on now. You've seen enough of this room. Okay, that hurts worse. <laughs> okay, teacher. Let's see what kind of photo evidence you shit all over this computer. Jefferson will end up in jail. But Chloe is dead. You're fucked, Jefferson. No one would have looked for Nathan's body with this. Proceed past Nathan Prescott one way ticket to Los Angeles. Yep. No one will follow up on those. Ever. Looks like Jefferson was planning a major security renovation with Prescott cash. Nobody will look at Jefferson's work the same. Ah, oh, Rachel. How could anybody? Oh, Chloe. I'm going to save you for the last time. He doesn't see that as a, you know, let's just take that. There's no way I'm leaving your necklace here. Wouldn't want David to figure out that <laughs> her necklace. Jefferson, you're lucky the cops are getting you in one piece. You won't be going, Jefferson, to any more shows. Frank isn't a bad person, but he can't be in denial about the drugs he provided. Oh, no. No. I will just keep scrolling through those. Hopefully David doesn't go off the deep end when he finds out I lied. Freedom. Holy shit. This storm is real. I need to find the ring. Yes! Warren, can you hear me? <gasps> Never mind. Listen, do you have that photo you took last night in the parking lot? Yeah, but why? It wasn't that great a shot. Yes, it is, and I, I want it. Where are you? I'm at the Two Wells Diner. Pretty much trapped in here with Joyce thanks to this Armageddon weather. I'm expecting the ocean to turn red. I'm on my way. Come on, that's crazy. I can barely walk on the sidewalk outside. Seriously, Max, stay wherever you are. I only think the storm's getting smaller. I'm kinda scared. That's okay. Me too. But it's not over yet, Warren. So hold on. <laughs> Oh, good luck to us. Yeah. 
Well, good luck. It's stormy weather in a car she hasn't used before. Like, good luck. Eh, apparently good enough. And our culture of sin and entitlement would lead to God striking us down. And I'm the one trapped in this fucking radio station. Somebody get me the hell out of here now! Now, God, damn it, how do I pay all those taxes? I mean, it's a pretty casual drive. You have one new message. Who would look at their phone? Message received yesterday at 9 p.m. Max, it's, it's Nathan. I just wanted to say, I'm sorry. I didn't want to hurt Kate or Rachel or, or I didn't want to hurt anybody. Everybody used me. <laughs> Mr. Jefferson is coming for me now. All this shit be over soon. Watch out, Max. He wants to hurt you next. Sorry. Oh, Nathan. Oh, buddy. genuinely no sense of that wooden barn that was extremely old is still standing but it's flinging over 18 wheelers and stuff I understand it's a little further away but Glad to see the trucker finally decided to leave town. Good for him. I'm gonna save you, buddy. Should right probably stop taking photos. Kevin, did you see that tornado? Get the hell out of here! Max, there's no way I can pass up these images. This is the end. Just look it's at it! Over now. You can't take a picture when you're dead! Now move your ass! Okay, if you insist! Whoa, Max! You do know things! You're such an idiot! Only if you don't find a safe spot until this blows over, okay? Now I better listen to the real everyday hero! Come with me! I have to help somebody else first! Oh, really? Shit. Melissa needs help again. That's like an again, again. Help me now, Max. Seriously? I've helped you so Melissa, much. Melissa, are you okay? Let me help you down. Yes, yes, please, Max. I don't want to die like this. Find something to get me down. Please, help me get down. Hold on. Give me 30 seconds. I'm looking for something. Please! Help me get down! Somebody help me! Help! I'm... Shit! Help. 
Alyssa needs help again. I know she needs help. That's what we're working on. I'm guessing it's that board right there. Maybe I can pull it up. I've helped you like 20 times. Saves me once. Good enough. Debt's cleared. Uh, huh. Don't know if I know you, so I don't know if you're uh, mean enough to help, but I will see what I can do. Stand up. Nope. And I gotta go help Alyssa again. Help me get down there. Yep, just a second. Oh. I, I can't think about all those children out there. Can't help that dead body. Well, they didn't look like a main character anyway, so it's okay. Help me get down, Max. Oh, it's they're dead. Can I get out of here? Alright, we'll find a way out first. Magazine. If we can make it out of this, Chloe. Yeah, October road trips. Let's all go to the drive in. Aw. Wait on the fuse box. Uh, Everybody plays this Arcadia. Makes me so sad. Every other Saturday. I'm stuck here. Don't worry, we'll I'll hit the fuse. First. The water will start up. It's fine. Such a puzzle solver. Oh. He's dead. Electrocuted. Oh no, who did that? Technically, you did. My bad. You should get out of here. The whole town is dying. Okay. I better hurry to the diner over there. I need Warren's photo. Someone would believe that if you actually tried to explain it and be like, yeah, I killed you. But then, reverse time, and then I saved you.
Yeah, don't worry, I gotcha, I gotcha. Tanner's gonna blow up. But take a minute to explore. I'm guessing if I had warned her earlier, she wouldn't be here. I didn't even know there was a way to warn the homeless lady. Yes. I feel like a jerk. I didn't find out about the, um, the ability to actually do that until, uh, after the fact, when you see what people's choices were, apparently there was a an option. I don't remember seeing it. Oh no, not her! I should have warned her. See, I never I like even asked jerk. her name. So selfish. Evacuation. Once again, this is not a test. This is not a test. An E6 tornado warning has been issued for Arcadia Bay and At least nobody's County. going to starve in here. Broadcast system is now in effect. Go get him, Julia. So, Blackwell Bullying by Juliet Watson. As a student at Blackwell Academy, I'm torn in writing this essay. I love my school and the education it has provided, but at the same time, I have to use my own critical thinking abilities as a budding journalist. So when I report that Blackwell has a problem, it's not with any glee or agenda. In fact, this problem reflects a disturbing national trend. In short, there are bullies at school, and they are us. Yeah, I would agree with that, because it gives better um, replay value on this game, now that you know things. Trust me, I'm trying to figure out how. I swear. Because now it's, make, it's like, you gotta work for it a bit, right? Max. Definitely replay to save her. Oh, Max. True. Oh, Jesus, I am so glad to see you, sweetie. Are you okay? Yes. What about you guys? Two whales is barely standing now. I don't know if it's gonna make it through this tornado. Oh, poor Officer Barry and all those people out there. I know. There. Okay, get your ass inside. I have to get back to this gentleman on the ground. Lauren has been gathering all the first aid. It's not much, Joyce, but it's all we have. You okay, Warren? How the hell did I ignore all those warnings, Max? The snow? The eclipse? There's nothing you could do about it, Warren. I'm so stupid. Should have seen it coming. So Hello. glad everybody is safe here. Um, but I need that photo from Warren to help Chloe. What we actually no. need to do is look around first. Oh, music. Uh -huh. Thank you. We will get out of this, okay? Party is over. This vortex is much bigger. See, I always wonder when they have these games with multiple choices if the uh, the makers of the game actually have this like the true version. Eating breakfast here only a few hours ago. If that makes sense, what they actually intended and just gave you other options. Okay, I will sit there in a second. Good job, Warren. I hope those supplies are enough. Those are not a lot of supplies. Okay. We're out here, so let's sit in our booth. Max, oh, give yourself one moment to do nothing. This is where I convinced Chloe I could rewind time. So. What's the point of this power? What's the lesson? To keep fixing what I keep fucking up? No, because 
I didn't ask for this gift. But I, I was able to stop Mark Jefferson. And now I, I can stop Chloe from dying for the last time. Or she's got to die. And we can't mess with the timetable. Come on, choice. Focus on the people. Joyce, how are you doing? Just when I think I've already been through the ringer. Where's Chloe? Uh, I'll find her. I... I'll find her. Not in this storm, you won't. And you're not going out there, Max. I just have to pray that Chloe and David will hold up somebody safe. I'm sorry about all this, Joyce. Don't be, honey. It's not like you whipped up this tornado on your own. Um, I mean, I'm also sorry about everything with David. You don't have control over any of that. David is an adult, and he has a lot more age and experience under his belt. Even if he doesn't always show it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I caused so many problems with David and Chloe. You did the right thing. David overstepped his bounds. I had a suspicion he was taking his private surveillance way too seriously. But he's sorry, and I wish he was here right now. I just want our lives to be normal again. With all the shit going on this week, I think you're right. And look at me, trying to keep my family together. Yeah. Max, did I make a mistake kicking David out? Ooh, that's fair that it may be tough to have your true, but I'm assuming they all like the happy ending, maybe? David saved my life from the storm. I saw how much he cares about Chloe, even if he couldn't show it. David needs you more than ever, and I can see why you love him. I'm so happy David was there for you. He has a lot of weight on his back from the war, but he truly wants to help people. He even agreed to take a family counseling class. I'm sure that was a hard thing for him to do. It shows how much he truly cares about you and Chloe. Nothing would make me happier than for David and Chloe to make peace, not war. But I don't know what to do anymore. I just... I just want this storm to blow over forever. Maybe it's time we leave Arcadia Bay. If we can. David is a real hero, Joyce. I know that all he wants to do is make you happy. I know he would do anything for you. And Chloe. I know. And yes, he's not William, but that's okay. He's not supposed to be. You reminded me of when he came into my life. I was ready to give up. David's love gave me strength. He even told me I was his hero. And I can't give up loving him. I want him to come back home. Oh, I hope I get to tell him that soon. Or I'm sure you'll get to. Maybe. I have to say the thing I'm enjoying the most about this game is that your choices actually have impact. Because some of the games that have choice isn't their choice always seemed to be like, not if something would happen, just be when something happened. If that makes sense. I hate to say I'm glad to see you, but I'm so glad to see you. That's okay. The important thing is that you're safe and I know you can take care of yourself after Nathan. Should have done that a long time ago. But damn, Max. Can't believe you actually drove down here in the middle of a fucking E6 tornado. Just for one photograph? I mean, I know you didn't come for me. Warren, I came for all of you. And just tell me you do have the photograph. I just want... Now shut up and listen. Oh yeah, if 
finally going to tell me what you never did in the parking lot. I wish I would have. So I'm just going to tell you without any explanation. Trust me, okay? I always yeah, already heard moving. You should probably tell me quick. I had a vision in Jefferson's class of a tornado destroying Arcadia Bay. I went to the bathroom and saw my best friend Chloe get shot by Nathan Prescott. You with me so far? Where else could I be? Go on. Then I found out that I could rewind time. And long story short, Mark Jefferson is insane and dangerous. Whoa. Is that all? I started the storm. No, he killed Chloe. Whoa, wait. Mm. Do I want to say that next to his... Chloe's mom? Yeah, I'll say it. It's fine. I have to go back in time. Jefferson already killed Chloe. I can't let that happen. I have to do something, Warren. Max, going back in time is what caused the storm. Oh, because, because of me? How? I'm not a real scientist, even though I play one at school, but this seems like pure cause and effect. Maybe chaos theory. <sighs> what happened with Jefferson? Did, did he hurt you? Yeah, I agree with throwing the towel. Like, it's not even like trying. Half the time, my lips aren't even moving. Uh, let's go with Rachel was killed. Nathan accidentally killed Rachel Amber trying to impress Jefferson. Nathan just needed mental help. And now he's dead. And Jefferson is done. It's not even moving. Jesus, Max. I want the whole story, but I guess we really are out of time. But I can still change things. What do you think will happen? For every action, there's there's a reaction. Whenever you reverse or, or alter time, maybe you cause a chain reaction. Even in the environment. Huh. You believe me? You're my friend, Warren. You believe me, right? I I haven't told anybody else. Except for Chloe, and and she can't help me right now. I know I can be a pain in the ass, and and you've always treated me like a person, not not a beta nerd. I I told you before that I'll always believe you. I just wish I could trust my powers. I guess we'll never know if it's magic or science. Even if it's from a wizard or a wormhole, you're part of something bigger. Now, I don't believe in fate or destiny, but. After this week, I realize I don't know shit. That makes both of us, Warren. I do know you're here for a reason. And I guess it's up to you to find out why. Max, I'm sorry you got stuck in this. In this, I don't have a fucking clue what's going on. But I have total faith that you'll do the right thing when the time comes. I'm so proud of you, Max. How could there be a more important moment in history? I'm in the middle of it with you. So thank you for trusting me. Thanks for being here. Always. Yeah, ventriloquism. Showed a good job of then. Hey. Be careful out there. <sighs> oh. You know what? It's not going to remember it, so let's give him a nice old kiss on the peckers. For luck. Just in case we don't get out of this, I wanted to say... I know, Warren. Of course you do. I'm going to make the right choices from now on. I swear. That's why you're super max. Just, why didn't you just let him say it? Ugh. Max, do you... He's not gonna remember. That wasn't the most passionate kiss in the world. <laughs> Heck, I'm not even sure if it was his first kiss.
no time for this shit. Come on, Max. Ugh. Chloe. Jesus, dude, what is up with you? I'm just glad we're here together. I guess you need to talk. No worries. It's all good. I'm glad you're with me, too. What's going on, Max? We have to find Nathan right now. He's gonna Sorry, be Warren. To Rachel. Let's go. Now. Chloe, wait. Listen. I can walk and listen, okay? Stop and listen for once. Fine, Max. I'm listening. Chloe, you can't go in that party. You're going to... You're going to die if you do. You used your powers, right? And you fucked around with time and I died. Not like that. You're supposed to back me up. So there's no way that punk-ass bitch Nathan Prescott is taking me down. You're right, he won't. Mark Jefferson killed you. And others. Jefferson, the art teacher? That's bullshit! Nathan is the fucking serial killer! We saw the proof! Now, excuse me, I'm going to that party to make sure he never hurts anybody again. Are you coming? Uh, Nathan's dead. Nathan is dead, and you're in danger. That fucker is already dead? How do you know that? Because I was there. Will you please tell me exactly what happened? Please. Ooh. Um, let's go with Jefferson killed him. Jefferson kidnapped Rachel and some other girls. He was also manipulating Nathan, and he killed him. And it's Jefferson's turn to die now. I understand why you don't want to do this, and I won't blame you for not coming with me. Chloe! Oh, you almost had her, Max. I can still do this. Ah, do 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 backing it up. Boo -ba -da -boo. Oh, excuse me, I'm going to that party to make sure he never hurts anybody again. Are you coming? Uh, Nathan's dead. Nathan is dead, and you're in danger. That fucker is already dead? How do you know that? Because I was there. Will you please tell me exactly what happened? Please. He's a psychopath. Mark Jefferson turned out to be a psychopath. Okay, Max. Let's go in there as a team and take his ass out right now. Uh, I don't want to go with Jefferson hurt me because that's going to like rile her up. She's going to be like, it's on. So, uh, d oh, if you say hurt me, she's going to go on a rampage to want to kill him. But just for you, I'll, I'll do it and watch. I'm predicting now she's going to be like, oh, I'm never going to let him hurt you. And Chloe. Jefferson drugged and kidnapped me. I was tied up in his bunker. You have no idea what hell I went through to get back here. But I couldn't let you die. You brought me back here and I can't lose you again. I won't. I'm Max, I'm, I'm so sorry. I was the one who dragged you into all this shit. Nobody, especially you, should have to go through that. I. Now we have to stop Jefferson. With one bullet. No, not this way. Chloe, I, I oh, can't keep right fixing everything if all I'm gonna do is just break it over and over again. I know how this is gonna turn out, and. I'm afraid I'm fucking up all these alternate realities. Wait, alternate realities? What do you mean, Max? What did you do? Okay, you win this time, Lady Hawk. You were right on that. Eh, it's okay. A little bit of backseat gaming doesn't bother me. I mean, I was eventually going to find that choice. And also, I personally know her. So it's okay. <laughs> um, I fucked up. I fucked up, Chloe. I wanted to make things right, but everything turned out wrong. Max, what the hell are you talking about? <sighs> I, I was able to go back in time. To the last day William was alive. I stopped him from leaving, but 
but you ended up in a car crash instead. You saw my dad again? You... you were completely paralyzed. And you, you were in pain. You were slowly dying, and you... You asked me to end your life. And I did. For you, I... I didn't want you to suffer in any other timeline or reality. I, I couldn't bear the thought of you in any more pain. God, Max. That must have been... That must have been awful for you. I, I'm so sorry I had to ask you that. It was worse for you. But I had no idea what would happen, and as usual, I messed everything up, and... I never want to hurt you. Ever. You have to believe me. Of course I do. Do you think I would even know how to handle that situation? Nobody would. The important thing is that we're together again. You're right. That's, that's why you should come with me, so we can stay together and stay alive. I hear you, Max, but do you think we should let Jefferson get away with torture and murder? Of course not. If we tell David, he'll believe us and he can actually stop him. Right? I don't get it. Why do you trust him after you totally reamed him the other day? He's not even at our house anymore. Ooh. Um. David. Cares about you. Think? Chloe, no matter how much of a douche he's been, David truly cares about you. <sighs> Please. Like he cared when he got in your face for smoking a joint? You should have seen how relieved he was when I lied to him and told him you didn't die. It would have crushed him. Are you serious? I... I can't see him showing any feeling. Except towards my mom. So what's your plan? We tell him everything. Including that Victoria is in danger. Okay. You've been through so much. I, I believe you, Max. After all, I'm still your faithful companion. Yes, you are. So listen, in a few minutes, I won't know any of this happened. Nothing. We absolutely have to stay in your room and do nothing. Then we explain everything to David, and we finally let him do his job. You'll have to tell me exactly what I did and said just now. Just explain that I traveled through time using the photo. Will you believe me? I'll always believe you, Chloe. Okay. Funner with no context. Oh, Chloe! I see that the real Max is back. So, how was your time trip, dude? Shut up! Oh, you're alive! You're alive! Oh, both of us! I did so much to bring you back, Chloe. It worked. It actually worked. You're with me again. <laughs> Looks like even fate doesn't want us apart. And. Travel through multiple realities just to save my ungrateful ass over and over and I hope it was worth it, but I don't blame you for wanting me out of your life after all my drama. Come on. I'm the official drama king and queen of Arcadia Bay this week. Just look at what my powers have caused in just a short time. I'm nobody. You're Max fucking Caulfield, time warrior. Even if you weren't, you're kind and caring. Nobody could have a better best friend. Nobody. You didn't ask for any of this to happen, but it did. You need to accept how awesome you are. Maybe I willed it subconsciously or something. I always wanted my life to be special. An adventure. 
Margaret, not without you. And it, it didn't happen until I moved back here. So, without you, my powers wouldn't even exist. And for whatever scientific, mystical reason that we'll obviously never figure out, we were meant to be together at this exact moment in history. I have to think that Rachel was somewhere behind the scenes, fighting for justice. I'd like to think that, too. We all owe Rachel Amber. Now tell me everything that happened. You, you remember, right? Well, we, we left the party and made sure Jefferson couldn't find us. For once, I was glad I lived in an actual fortress. Then the storm got hella crazy, and, and you said we would be safe at the lighthouse. Chloe, look. The storm is getting bigger now. It's coming closer. Oh, I, I can't even believe this is real. This is happening because of me. Stop it. Is this stop beating yourself up, okay? We've both paid our dues already on it. God, look at that. Look at that monster. Who knows? This could be Rachel's revenge. Our revenge. The lighthouse is out of the way of the tornado. Come on. <sighs> Chloe. I've got your back, Rex. Whoa. Alfred Hitchcock famously called film Little Pieces of Time. Uh, I'm back in class. As he what the hell? Place. These pieces of time can frame us in our glory and our I have sorrow. to listen to this Jefferson lecture again. This the might be hell. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer okay, who perfectly this captured is the messed human up. condition in black and white? Am I stuck in a time loop? Anybody? Bueller? Diane Arbus. Be calm and go, don't Gloria. freak out. Why Arbus? Yet. Because of her images of yeah. hopeless faces, you feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, Wait, right? What's going on? Can we talk about the birds? Nobody even cares. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Everybody's gone now. Have I totally fucked up time? Well, you've this done something. Doesn't make sense. Whoa. You didn't die, Kate. You're alive. Did she just keep writing I want to die over and over. Did nobody do anything about Holy this? Shit. Anyone? Nobody? Look at all these dead birds. Uh, this not yet, you bastard. I'm sorry. What? Max, if you're reading this, it means you're dead, Mr. Jefferson XOXO. What the fuck? <sighs> That's awful. It's a thing. I mean, most. Most high school students do stuff like that. That's me? Are you kidding? Huh. Wait. Did I actually say ten yes. ten reason to get me? electric mail? Electronic Are you kidding? mail. I don't think I come up with ten reasons to get emails. Oh, that's too creepy. Oh my goodness. Well, that didn't change. This is definitely not for reals. That's photocon. I'm not going to take the bait. I'm not. Everybody zeroes photocon 2013. Max Caulfield a loser? Does she hurt everybody she helps? Max already won because she has already lost, so don't bother to enter. Awesome. Boo boo. Rachel didn't deserve any of this. Oh no. Ah, oh, lighthouse. 
Why are things changing when I look at them? It's kind of getting weird. That is a lot. And I mean a lot of dead birds. Like... <laughs> and they're all pigeons. I see you, Max Caulfield. Oh, I'm Don't sorry, what? even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I just wanted to know if you'd like to spend the rest of your life in my dark room. Your purity inspires me so much, and we could be so happy together. Who needs selfies when I can give you portraiture? There's no way I'm saying that. No way. I, I love you, Mr. Jefferson. Our dark room? My selfies are shit. Thanks for killing Cl Whoa, Kate. Uh, uh, my selfies are shit. My selfies are shit. I need to be framed by a real artist. Whoa. I'm just a poser. Yes. You will be posing. For me. There's so many angles I want to expose you with to the world. I hope you don't mind needles or duct tape. This can't be real. I don't believe it. Do these change? I'm not going to take the bait. Nope. Okay, good. I'm not. Um... That is not where the classroom door is supposed to <laughs> supposed to lead. Oh no, is Victoria dead? Victoria's dead. No balls allowed. I know she's the main thing to talk to, but I'm just gonna drag her face around just to. Now the question is, would you be here if I didn't save you? We'll bang for Jesus. Hey, Kate. Max, why did you stop me from jumping? What kind of friend are you? You never understood me or what happened to me. Now my family will never leave me alone, and that means I'll always be alone. Thanks to you. Kate, that's not true. I've always been your friend. Well, Kate's dead. Maybe. <laughs> Again. Oh, my goodness. Taylor, Stella, Dana, Kate, Max, Victoria, Brooke. All right, that seems fine. Okay, before we start opening doors. Take those. Well, you know, I, I would assume at this uh, moment, I, I could be wrong, but uh, I'm pretty sure she's having a psychotic break. That's what happens when you screw around with things. I'm assuming all these doors are locked. No? Oh. You know, just for checking. Do all doors just loop? Okay, all doors loop. Uh... I'm assuming the candles were set out purely for, uh, I'm assuming, yep. Dang it, I'm gonna check the showers. I understand the keys are probably for the room, but. Yep, okay. I, I believe A, we've probably lost power for the candles and B, I'm thinking, well. Kate's dead. Find 
Wait, what? Wasn't there supposed to be, like, a door there? This hall never ends. I better find something. I know I could save everyone. <laughs> Just saying. Tara, Victoria, Brooke... Ayla, Hadley, Dana, Kelly, Rachel. Oh, look. I'm not in there anymore. Wait, what? Rachel. But Rachel's in. Rachel? No? Yes, Rachel. She was my angel. After my dad died, when he moved, I felt abandoned. Well, there's all the missing posters. Awesome! So, Rachel took my place. I'm glad she was there for you. Six months ago, she just left Arcadia. Without a word. Yeah, I got Frank nuked. I forgot to check which room she was in. I think it was 224. Not live on the edge. 224. Yes! Okay. You suck, Victoria. Fuck your selfie. Rachel is a whore. Well, that was a great start. Tar chase rules. What do we got on this map? Victoria does have a room. Brooke, Kate, Max, Dana. Okay, maybe Victoria's room. Victoria equals skank. Rachel is a whore. I hate... Wow, well, there's a... Bit of a mixed, mixed breed here. I'm me, maybe. <laughs> okay, I do have a room again, back in 219. No boys allowed. Hey, all my photos. Hi, look at me, I'm Max Selfie. Picture of poop. Oh, do they all say that? Oop. Those are some Giant squirrels. This one is for Samuel. Sensor. I mean, I probably should have gone back and saved Frank. Poor Frank. But it's okay. It's, it's all over for him. Was that even English? Oh, they're all in back. Going backwards. Yeah, okay. That's... That's normal. This is it's kind of messed up. Perfect. This is right back at the beginning where I'm thinking we can't. Oop. Never mind, we're still... Oh, look. There, everything's backwards. Cool. Assuming I can't do any... Wait, if I try to back up, do I make it go forward? Ha! Huh. Nice. Look, it's a let's. And Ecorb, I remember her. 
85 has me see Now, I need to go to the summit. It's lean ad. And Nagel. Oh, there's the deer. And Nedja. Good to know. Thank you. Oh, I get it. You're taking the picture in reverse. Ha! Huh. Weird. Okay. Pretty sure the bathroom's room. Want to be in a bad? Me too. Join the chess team. It's... What is it? Le Mans? Lou Mass, I guess? I would say Samuel backwards. Whoa, that camera angle. Okay, let's go to the bathroom and probably fix all this. Wait, nope. Well, they don't say his name. It's just principal. What is it? Lapic Nerp? None of the posters are technically backwards. They're all uh, very readable, if you can see. See? Missing. Katie Bay, day missing, April 22nd, 2013, 19. You know, very, very readable. Posters and everything on the wall are fine, like Principal Ray Wells. But, yeah, everything else is just kind of borked. Okay, let's go to the bathroom and let Chloe die. Calling it now. Retney, let's go. Or what? Don't try to hide, Max. Get over here. Let me capture you. Yeah, that's creepy in two different ways. <laughs> capture photo and capture. Jefferson is coming after me, Max. You no. used to be so pure, so innocent. Now, you have to die. Boop. Luckily, it's a stealth game with incredibly good it's camera angles. Max. The yeah. only place I can be my selfie is in the dark room. Okay, there's multiples of you? What happened to your spark, Max? I thought I could Maybe be your I'll be safe in the lighthouse. Maybe I'll wake up. Can't walk that way. I realize now you'll never be an artist, much less a photographer. Come here, Max. Class is dismissed. Hey, look, it's all the photos he took. That's Kate, if I remember correctly. That's me. Where are you going, buddy? Again. I can teach you so much. Go, 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 go. So that's me. Good evening, Blackwell. This is Principal Wells, and I'm here to drop the mic on Max Caulfield. It's Kate. Doop, 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 doop. I regret to announce that that's Rachel which you're thinking is has died in an alternate reality that I promise to investigate after I get my drink on. <laughs> I love that because he did actually have alcohol in his uh, principal's office so maybe he will investigate after he gets his drink on oh, 